If you're thinking about starting a sports training business and it does not matter to me what sport you are specializing in, if you haven't started your business yet, I want you to watch this all the way through and this will really, really help you. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right. If you haven't started a business and you've been wanting to, right, first, Go check out that coupon code that I just had in the intro. That will uh, work on any of the programs and products that we sell at buildmysportsbiz.com. And that site is for you if you're looking to start, grow, and scale, right? Now, outside of that, I have over 400 and I think at this point, 475 YouTube videos. I have hundreds of podcasts that you can go find on Spotify or iTunes. I've been doing this for over five years now at this point. And what I will tell you is a lot of coaches that reach out to me that are like, hey Ben, I want to have more freedom. I want to have more flexibility. Um, I hate my current job and I want to be a full-time coach. And you know, when I started, I hated what I was doing. Like, and I hated what I was doing enough to where it, it pushed me to start something different than what I was doing because I hated my job. I, I hated driving to work. I, I mean, I hate being in a car in the first place, but I hated uh, commuting, going 30, 45 minutes to, to my job, sitting in traffic, being told uh, when to eat lunch, when I can go to the bathroom, uh, when I can drink water. Like, I mean, it was amazing how like I, I felt like I was trapped in a prison. Um, and I hated that enough though. I had a a high sense of urgency to stop doing that and I I needed to change my life. So like if you are in a position and you are wanting to start, well, no one's going to give you the green light to do that. Like I'm not going to do that. So if you text me, Hey, should I start a business? I'll always, if you always ask me, Hey, should I start a business? I will tell you, no, I will say, no, don't do it. Like you shouldn't be asking me that. You should just go do it. (laughs) Uh, And if you're asking someone for permission to do something, you are not fit to be a business owner. And I can, I can promise you that if you are trying to get started and you don't, uh, think you can start, uh, I I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't be doing this. All right. And the other thing is like, I know when, when coaches start their business, they think, and I have this funny, uh, clip pulled up here, uh, (laughs) If you look at this guy, and, and I don't know if it's his wife or his girlfriend, I don't, I don't know what they are. Uh, but most people think when they start a business, it's going to be like this. It's like you get to sleep in on Monday. You get to uh, get on their laptop, have a little latte and chill out and have a very relaxed day. Now, when you have a business, right? It is not like that. It is not like how a lot of these people who show you ads probably on my videos uh, talk about. It is not like that. Uh, And this is why, like, one of the reasons why I bought this uh, lion off of Amazon. It's like, when I get in here, I know I have to go hunt. Like, this room is specific for work, right? I don't come up here and play, play around on Instagram and Twitter all day, right? Uh, I'm not up here uh, with my wife sipping on a latte and, you know, tucked away and under the covers, right? But this is the the fantasy and the illusion that a lot of people have when they think about starting a business. They're like, well, I don't like what I'm doing right now. So if I start something, my life will be easier. I can assure you 1000% your life will be harder when you have a business than when you don't, right? Because guess what? No one's going to tell you what time to wake up. No one's just going to go give you clients. No one's going to make you successful, right? Other than you, right? And this is why I know so many times uh, when coaches reach out and they're like, you know, should I do this? Uh, you know, should I get started? What are the best ways to get started? Like I have plans and, and guides and detailed uh, resources that you can use that will help you get started in the next day, 
right? You can legally set your business up over the next day. Go check out my website, buildmysportsbiz.com. You can check it out there. But what you need to know is, you know, if you're considering getting started, it is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done in your life, period, right? And I say that so bluntly because I know it's true. I've been self-employed for over a decade, right? And I will tell you, it's absolutely hard. And can you have freedom and flexibility? Absolutely, yes. Like 100% you can, but it will take you time, right? That does not happen in year one. It's probably not gonna happen in year five, right? As, you, as you're growing, I mean, some of the most successful coaches I'm working with right now, I can promise you they're working way harder than you would think, right? And you know they, they might not be up till 10 or, or midnight every single day working, but like they work very, very hard during the time, you know, during their, their work time during the day, right? And that's gonna be the difference is your focus, your discipline that you have when you start a business, that is all in your hands, right? Right? No one's tapping me on the shoulder at six o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday, saying, Hey Ben, you need to wake up today. No one does that to me. I do that, right? I do that. So that's it uh, for today's message. I hope this helps you. Um, it, it's, you know, you need to know the truth. It's being, being successful is hard. It's not for everybody. And starting your business with the illusion, thinking that you're going to make it rain in the first year and you're going to be able to sleep in on Monday or Tuesday uh, with your significant other and, and relax, I promise you, all right, it's not how it works. Not, it's not how it works around here. So that's it, and uh, catch you later.